You're all my witnesses. For the vast majority of the past six months, I've said almost nothing about Islam. When I have interacted with Muslim apologists, I've been significantly more polite than I've been at times in the past. I've been minding my own business. But in the words of Michael Corleone, Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Nabil Qureshi died of cancer nearly four years ago. Not only are Muslim apologists still obsessed with attacking him, they're still obsessed with stalking and harassing his widow, who's now married to someone else. Even worse, Muslim apologists are mocking her for marrying a black man. I wish I were kidding. I wouldn't normally see anything from the Muslim by Choice YouTube channel, but I saw a video from Adam Seeker circulating. The thumbnail had a post from Muslim by Choice. I had to check it out. Muslim by Choice's community post said, Breaking, Nabil Qureshi's widow got jungle fever and marries an African dude. Now we know what qualifies as breaking news for Muslim apologists. How many levels of creepy do we have here? The first level of creepiness is that Muslim by Choice is still obsessed with Nabil, even though Nabil died nearly four years ago. You know, even if Nabil weren't living with the Lord Jesus Christ right now, he would still be living inside the heads of Muslim apologists. The second level of creepiness is that Muslim by Choice is still obsessed with Nabil's widow, Michelle. So, Nabil died in 2017. Last year, Michelle started posting videos saying that she had met someone. His name is Greg. Seems like the nicest guy on the planet. Then they got married. And Muslim apologists decided to remind everyone that if you criticize Islam, they will continue targeting your family even years after you die. Talk about dedication. The third level of creepiness is that Muslim apologists think it's relevant that Michelle married a black man. They're calling it jungle fever. They're saying that if a white woman marries a black man, it's because she got jungle fever. Keep in mind that Michelle's first husband, Nabil, was Pakistani. Her new husband is black. Apparently, Michelle doesn't care that much about race. But in the eyes of Muslim apologists, a white woman who marries a non-white man deserves to be mocked and ridiculed. It's breaking news that must be shouted from the rooftops. Fortunately, even though 207 Muslim by Choice fans liked this post, a number of Muslims condemned it. Forget Nabil and his wife. The reason you should take this post down is because it is completely disrespectful to black people in general. Exactly. The term jungle fever is not befitting of a Muslim. This post implies that something is wrong with marrying an African. That is culture, not Islam. Nabil was a detestable human, but this post is offensive to our African brothers and sisters. You shouldn't do this, bro. Nabil is already dead and his wife has nothing to do with Islam. Remember hadith of Rasulullah, don't talk about people who already passed away, even if they are haters of Islam, because now Nabil knew the reality. This post implies there's something shocking or embarrassing about marrying a Nigerian. It's disappointing you've kept this post up, bro. Don't be stubborn and take this down. You are falling into the trap of extreme Christians by going to these lengths. Nabil is a creation of Allah. His sins will be reviewed by the Most High. What you are doing is toxic and taking on his sins. Jungle fever is a very racist inference. Don't embarrass yourself, please. Two wrongs don't make a right. Whatever Nabil might have said. Jungle fever? Am I missing something? Is this not a racist comment to us Nigerians? I think more Muslims are offended by this reckless post than Christians. This channel claims to be Muslim, but most of the posts are insanely disrespectful and unbefitting of Muslims. Why do you need to insult and name call people who don't follow our religion? Such a horrendous channel. This post is really offensive. Please remove. Jungle fever? We don't care about his race. She is free to get remarried to whoever she wants. 
It's high time whoever manages this content on this profile go back to the various hadiths on how very disrespectful people treated the Prophet and how he treated them back with kindness. Seriously? Jungle fever? Black man? Are these the kind of words you want to use as a Muslim? Just because she married from Nigeria, you call this jungle fever? Pure, stupid, and ignorant. At least acknowledge that and remove this. The person behind the channel even pinned another catastrophic comment as the main comment he obviously doesn't care. I see people should teach him a lesson and unsubscribe until he takes this down and apologizes. Please, we Muslims want you to remove this. As his widow said nothing bad about our religion, why are you saying that to her? Plus, why did you write jungle fever? That's not good at all. It's coming off as racist, so please remove this. Brother, you shouldn't talk about people's wives. Really? No talking about people's wives? Muhammad Hijab certainly loves talking about people's wives. There is so much wrong with this. Mocking the dead is an extremely grotesque thing to do and massively disliked in Islam. Two, you speak about his wife and have his children in this photo without preserving their identity at least, and to top it off, you mock Nigerians? Racism and attacking a widow. Stay classy. I'm not sure why so many of the comments say that Muslim by choice is mocking Nigerians. The post was edited at some point. Maybe Muslim by choice said something about Nigerians, but then took it out. I don't know. I can't imagine why Muslim by choice would even be talking about Nigerians. Greg is an American. He's a U.S. Navy veteran. Here's Greg introducing himself in one of Michelle's videos. Hey guys, good to meet you, finally. I know a lot of you are wondering who is this Greg guy that's taken our Michelle away. Um, it is I, and I am guilty as charged. Uh, I started my adult life in military service, and so I joined the Navy when I was 18 and did that for seven years. Um, what's fascinating is our stories, as far as military service, parallel really well. Uh, we joined around the same time, we got out around the same time, and it's still up for debate as far as who has better sea stories. Uh, you got a Coast Guard vet and a Navy vet, so um, pray for us guys. That's, that's still a point where we- Point of contention. Yeah. So, no idea why there are so many comments about Nigerians. Also, I have no idea why anyone would want to criticize or mock Michelle if, instead of marrying an American, she had gone to Nigeria, fallen in love with a Nigerian, and married a Nigerian. This is 2021. Who still thinks there's something wrong with a white American woman marrying a Nigerian? Muslim apologists, that's who. Again, I'm glad to see so many Muslims calling out their apologists for these disgusting and racist posts. However, I'm not sure I agree with the Muslims in the comment section that it's somehow un-Islamic to bring race into the discussion. Muhammad's companions went out of their way to remind us how white he was. They said that he was white with an elegant face. They referred to him as this white man and drew attention to his white complexion. They wanted us to know about the whiteness of his shins and the whiteness of his thigh and the whiteness of his leg and the whiteness of his stomach and the whiteness of his forearms and the whiteness of his cheeks and the whiteness of his armpits. Muhammad's companions also went out of their way to remind us how black his slaves were. Hadith after hadith after hadith, Muhammad bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves. The Muslim sources even say that trading slaves was equivalent to trading animals. So if race is really irrelevant in Islam, why the endless reminders of how white Muhammad was and how black his slaves were? Why were Muhammad's companions so obsessed with whiteness and blackness? Let me know what you think in the comments section. For more on Muhammad and race, be sure to check out my video, How Muhammad Ali Was Duped by Islam. It's probably my favorite video I ever made. And check out Adam Seeker's video about Muslim by Choice's racist post. Adam Seeker quotes some additional hadiths about the racism of the Prophet of Islam.